Well, graduation is going to look different this year for most high school student graduates as physical distancing restrictions remain in place. Instead, high schools are gearing up for other ways to celebrate their grads, including drive through and virtual ceremonies. Joining us this morning is Fredericton High School te English teacher, Valerie Marshall. Great to have you with us. Congrats to your grads. Good morning. Yes, it's, it's going to be a big week. I know. Schools across New Brunswick closed in the middle of March. So how challenging has the last couple of months been for you and in particular your grade 12 students? Well, there have been a lot of ups and downs. Uh, communication has been the big piece trying to stay connected with all of our students, but especially our graduates who have so much on the line here this year. So communication through email, through virtual meetings, we've been meeting with our students on a regular basis. Each week I'd have a class meeting. And it was during those class meetings where I would get to hear from each grad or from each student and, and find out what the challenges have been that week and sometimes how they're overcoming those challenges. And how have they been doing? Like, how are they overcoming this, the challenges? And how do they feel about graduating during a pandemic? Well, um, I don't think they're overly excited about it, if I'm being honest. Uh, but, you know, kids are resilient. And I think they're finding a grit that they didn't even know that they had. Hmm. And so after disappointment, after disappointment, they pick themselves up. And I think they're gradually making peace with this situation. Uh, I was talking with one parent just the other day, and her daughter, of course, has been disappointed. But just now talking about looking forward to our drive-up graduation, where we're going to try to have a moment of spotlight for every one of our grads. Uh, yeah, let's talk so about the grad plans for the Fredericton students. What do those look like? You said they're planning a virtual graduation. Well, actually, we're going to have students each uh, driving right into our school parking lot. We're setting up our stage in the school parking lot. Uh, it'll look as much as possible like the regular graduation stage. We're literally rolling out the red carpet for <laughs> students to be walking up. Uh, they'll drive up with their families. They'll hop out of the car. They'll have on their cap and their gown. They'll walk the red carpet right up onto the stage. Our principal, Mr. Shane Thomas, will be there to greet them and congratulate them. Pictures will be taken so that they have that moment with their family and with their school, and then they'll walk off the stage, get back in their car, and <laughs> I expect families will go off to celebrate. What do you anticipate that moment to be like, of that one-on-one -on -one connection with the students as you, you know, hand a diploma and tell them congrats? Well, it's certainly gonna be unlike anything we've ever done before in many regards. Uh, we're, in the, we're outside, uh, so it's kind of foggy here today. I like to think we're saving our sunshine for next week. Uh, <laughs> we're really hoping for some nice weather. Um, but I, I think that for families who've lost a, a lot in terms of graduation this year, I'm, I'm really hoping that this moment they'll be able to savor. We're attempting to make it as special as possible, uh, that one special moment for every graduate. Mm. So while it's not going to be what we expected, I, I think it will still be that special moment that they can capture in pictures and then have the stories to tell. It is history, right? Like they are graduating during this incredible time in history. Valerie, I loved what you said about how they are finding a grit they didn't know they had. What's your advice to grad students? Well, uh, my advice always is to find your passion, find what you're good at, and then run with it. Um, and so this year, I think my advice would be the same advice, except maybe I'd add to that, that we have to be patient and flexible. Mm that the running may not be as straight, the course may not be as straight as we had originally planned, but the dreams are still there, they're still gonna pursue them. They might need to be patient and flexible, but they can still get where they want to be. Valerie Marshall, great to have you with us on your morning. Congrats both to you and to your graduates. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.